why I start football, why I love, I love football, you know, I'm a fan of uh, Manchester United since I was young. That time it's no live broadcast, but also radio about Manchester United, you know, win the champion. So for me, I have a dream that one day we can bring like, uh, like uh, Manchester United, Liverpool, Barcelona, Real Madrid, as soon as, but you know, this need, need time to do it when our facility, our stadium, you know, according to standard. And imagine if we do something in Siem Reap, so people across the world will come, right? And Asian also, Asia will come to, to, to Siem Reap. So through football, and then they come and then they, they go to the Angkor Wat Temple, they will amazing and then they will call other friends come. I think this is the, the, the thing that I have dream and also I have spoke with my, my boss, my friend about that. It's a, it's a good idea, but if we dream it, if we believe it one day, it will happen. Uh, so, uh, greeting, ladies and gentlemen. This is Main Siumai from uh, Cambodia, and today we are having Mr. Uh, Boedari, who is a professional footballer and also uh, the general secretary of uh, the Siem Reap United uh, FC. And today we are going to discuss about uh, the interconnection between uh, the sport and tourism. So, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Dari. So, good first afternoon, of all, sir, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the connection between uh, sport? and uh, tourism and what does it mean uh, when we talk about the sport tourism um yes uh Simai, uh recently you know that they just host olympic in france right and also euro and also world cup right so all is connected to not only just sport but also connect to tourists because whatever the sport host the event so attract a lot of tourists so every nation will come to the to, to, to the place for the event. Yes, sir. so uh, specifically in Simri province, what do you think about uh, what is the potential of uh, the sport tourism in this uh, particular province? Yeah, of course, uh, Simri, if we talk about Simri, you know, this is the, the dream that why we start Simri United. Because we have the dream that this is the place that, that not just people come to visit on Wat, but also relate to the sport. So for me, inspire me is about Go Thai Cup. They used to host in uh, Sweden. So 1,700 team from 80 nations joined together for the event. So for me, it's a big hope that one day we'll be host such a big event like this. And for me, that, that is my dream. And also this is my team dream about that, that event. So, so uh, you focusing on uh, specifically uh, the football, sport football, but uh, uh, how, how much do you think that football alone can uh, bring national and international uh, tourists to visit uh, the same province? So um, actually we have many sports, right? But if you see in the world right now and 100 year, you know, it's, like it's about football. F football is a famous sport, number one sport in the world. So. For me, when we do the event, let's say the youth international youth event, something like that in, in Siem Reap, we will attract a lot of people. And this is a free advertising for Siem Reap. And so, uh, Mr. Dari, uh, besides football, sir, uh, what else? What, what are the other sports that you think that are suitable to do in Siem Reap province? Yeah, for me, um, I believe cycling, uh, marathon, and hiking. And also, uh, you know that when we hold the sea game, also here is uh, we we do the cycling. Cycling is the one of the athlete that we do in Simbri, and I believe this is the potential for Simbri, especially hiking and and cycling. Uh, the, we we have seen uh, those sport events being held in Simbri before, but uh, how much do you think these activity contributed to uh, the tourism? No, we we can do not only the national but we can do international and as you know when we do the marathon and a lot of nations they come and do it in in sim Reap, right so I, I believe those people will come and also not stay only one day two day maybe one week you know through the, the event so i believe that we when we start something and we do something with quality and we continue to do it and we increase it. I believe this is one of the parts that we connect sport and tourism together. 
Yes, sir. So uh, to think about it, these sport events are quite big. Uh, but so do you think that it, it is good to hold it like once a year or twice a year? Like being ho uh, holding this activity twice a year or only once a year, do you think it's enough to boost the tourism? I think I think first we, we need to have more variety of sport, right? So and also uh, some sport depend on uh, we, 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 we need to categorize. Let's say some is for the pro professional, some semi-professional, and some for the amateur. Everyone can do it. So I think if we 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 looking for the that other country like for the marathon, a lot of professional join, right? But also we can do amateur also. So depend on uh, we we need to categorize. So let's say one athlete we can do three times. Yeah, professional, semi-professional, and then then amateur can can do together. Yes, sir. so looking back to football, uh, these stadiums can be used for international tournament. But have you ever considered uh, bringing like well-known uh, international football clubs or fe international football players to uh, come here and introduce to uh, the ca uh, Cambodians across the country to to know about uh, the Siem Reap province and the potential of this province for uh, this particular sport? Yes, you may. Um you know uh, why I start football? Why I love I love football? You know I'm a fan of uh, Manchester United since I was young. That time it's no live broadcast, but also radio about Manchester United. You know win the champion. So for me, I have a dream that one day we can bring like uh, like uh, Manchester United, Liverpool, Barcelona, or Real Madrid as soon. As, but you know this need need time to do it. When our facility, our stadium, you know according to standard. And imagine if we do something in Siem Reap, so people across the world will come, right? And Asian also, Asia will come to, to, to Siem Reap. So through football, and then they come and then they, they go to the Angkor Wat Temple, they will amazing and then they will call other friends come. I think this is the, the, the thing that I have dream and also I have spoke with my, my boss, my friend about that. It's a, it's a good idea, but if we dream it, if we believe it one day, it will happen. So, uh, as, as you said earlier, that uh, you have uh, several stadiums that can be used for uh, not only national, but can be for international tournaments as well. So, uh, what is the plan for the, uh, for the future, for the future use of these uh, stadiums? Yeah, um, recently we have, we have this stadium called SOU in uh, the town of Siemria, but also we uh, build our training center in Bunti Street. So far, we finished three um, standard field, and also we start the field four, that very big field. So I believe this is the first step that we can host, even relate to the youth, but also even the senior uh, team. And also, since last year, we start the youth team. Uh, under 14 and also we invite Thai team and also we invite Singapore team and in the future we will host a lot of even a lot of soccer school around Southeast Asia and also Asian and also Europe around the world I believe that one day they will looking for for us uh, we must be start something so uh, these stadiums have been used uh, for actually a regional tournaments before but uh, at the time how did you see uh, the tourism sector get affected by uh, those uh, sport activities of okay, course um, if we see Thailand if we see Singapore so they just hot even they they I think three 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 months ago they they have a big event in in Singapore around 500 team across the world come to Singapore and also not only one stadium, but also it's not about the stadium only. We, have, we, we can do on the field, depend on how quality the field we have. But also for the, for the youth soccer, it's not about not only good, good, you know, must be very good, very high standard. But also I believe we have something that we can start. And I believe we can, we can attract a, a lot of tourists because why? We have Angkor Wat, we have a lot of tourist place. So people will enjoy football, but also after football, they will enjoy visit our temple, right? Yeah. So uh, in the future, you said that you want to uh, host international tournaments like the neighboring countries hosting uh, around 300 to 500 teams. But do you think 
Do, do you think that Simri province is ready to host such a big number of teams? Yes, you might, uh, of course, but you know, everything starts from the first step, right? So we cannot straight away we start, start with 300 teams, 500 teams in the beginning. It's it impossible, but I think first we need to believe that one day we can do it and then we start with 50 teams, we start with 100 teams, something they've been able to do it. And then I, I talk to, to the team, let's do it and do the best we can and then show people. People will tell other, you know, how good we are, you know, environment, everything, how, you know, the, the way we greet them, the way we hospital them, make them happy. So they will attract more and more. And I believe through that tournament, the first tournament, second tournament, third, fourth tournament, and then we do successful, I, I believe the government will be support us. You know, I believe the sponsor will be support us. The governor, everyone will do together because this is the hope. This is, we bring another for the economy for, for Cambodia, especially for Simbib. Yes, sir. So, uh, but uh, currently, do you think there are enough support already for uh, the, the sport in this province? Sir? I think, I think uh, we, need, we, we, we need to start something to show them something and they show the government the uh, the governor here and then all the sponsor here we need to start something um, yeah. are there any challenges that you want to overcome so that uh, you can achieve the intention and the ambition that you have uh, spoken earlier uh we we already start and um, last year we start but only four team but this one we call elite team but what we want to do, we want to do a lot of soccer school because a lot of soccer school around Southeast Asia and also for Asian and around the globe. And then we need to start something. And I talked to the team, we want to start in October and December. Yeah, so soon we start, we will see. And I believe everyone will happy, right? When we do something, because this is such a project that make, you know, improve everything, make a lot of money for, for, for Simbri, for the government. So uh, you said that we will work step by step to achieve that goal, but how long do you think it will take for Cambodia and Simbri province to achieve that goal? I think, I think three to five years. I think three to five years if we work really hard and everyone believe, I think we can, yeah. Because so, we, you know, Siem Reap is the, for Cambodia is the destiny, you know, very important, you know, for the tourists. So of course the government, of course the governor, everyone, you know, ministry uh, for tourists, they will focus here. I think if they see the work we do and they are with appreciate, they will join together. I think that, and also as I said in the beginning, it's about quality, you know. We do something that people will say yes, you know, simply we do such a thing that they are quite happy. So they will call people and also the price, you know. Maybe they do in Singapore, very expensive, but do in simply, you know, the, the price that reasonable. And for two in a month, the good thing about two in a month, maybe we do two and three days. They will come one day before, right? But also after the two in a month, they will stay one or two days. So like, it will be a week for them to, to stay here and then they spend everything. So uh, within these three to five years that we are preparing to be ready, uh, what do you think that all the stakeholders, not only in sport, but in tourism, what do you think uh, they could do in order to uh, contribute to achieving that goal? I think first, uh, it's up to us, you know, the first step. We, we believe and also we do the first step first. So when we do the first step, when they see it, a call they will join. So uh, let's say that football is one main spot here that you want uh, to you want it to grow grow bigger and bigger. But besides the football, do you, do you have any uh, other intentions to uh, you know bringing other sport activity uh, in in this province as well? Yeah, of course. Um, if we if we see our training center, so I just spoke with the, our president uh, two days ago about we will do the. Uh, indoor sport, so like futsal, basketball, volleyball, a lot of activity we can do together. And also, you know, when during the sea game, he also, they do cycling, right? So have a lot of opportunity. It's not only football, but other sport also. It's up to us. But because why I say 
football because I'm a man sport with football. That's why. And also, I, I believe like Thailand, you know, Malaysia, Singapore, those those country they 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 do with the the international football tournament because a lot of soccer school, yeah. So uh, playing football in uh, these stadiums might be a, li a little bit about the standard and also uh, the entertainment. But uh, do you think it is a good idea? Because earlier you said that it, uh, football, the sport tourism, ha uh, have to be uh, engaging with the community. But what do you think ab about having a football tournament with the, the community outside of the stadiums? Uh, do you? Do uh do you think of anywhere else that we can play football outside of the stadium? Yeah, of course. Uh, see, my, if we see now a lot of futsal, right? Before like ten year, ten year before, it's not a lot of foot football, right? But now a lot of artificial grass football field. At least we can do five side, seven side, nine side. We can do anywhere, depend on. Uh, and also now, at, for me, I think it's good start. So we're talking about my generation, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, when I, I play sport, my parents reject me, right? But now the parents will be paid for the children to play sport, right? Go every Sunday, Saturday to play sport. Because why? Now technology, everyone play phone, right? So it's sport, especially football, is for me, I think it's the right time for now to do it. And I believe the government together, and then it's really push for the young generation to start sport so when they sport they start talk more leadership and also they have a good health also so uh, we're reaching my last question so uh, you have talked a lot about your plan for the next three to five years but for uh, the next 10 years uh, what uh, do you see about the future of the sport tourism in this particular province and across uh, Cambodia in general um yes of course you know, see my when we do three to five years and when we are successful, I believe we will grow more, we will export more, right? We will do want to do such a thing like um, go Thai Cup that 1,100. I, I, I think the government will be motivated, the government will be inspired, will be want to do more. And I believe when that time coming, it's not only Siem Reap will host, I believe, Banti Mien Chai because it's close by and later will be uh, Bat Nambong also Kampung Thom Prev here is it's something close, you know, and also this this province is a lot. Let let's say Prev here, Prev here a lot of temple, a lot of tourist place, right? So we will connect together, we will do together, and when it happen, the transport, everything, I think everyone will smile, right? We will show to the world, yeah, something that I think maybe people don't dream about it, maybe they don't see it, but for me, I I always see it. That's why it motivate me to start something in Simbri. So uh, realistically speaking, so you have all uh, these activities planned out, but uh, in case there is something that uh, prevents the progress of these uh, activity, do you have anything ready so that you can uh, overcome the, the uh, potential challenge that can happen in the future? Um, I think some sometimes we are plan it too long. We we always think you know something that we preventing. We want to preventing. But for me, um, I believe we need to do first step. So when we do first step, and then we learn about it. Then we do second step. We learn about it. So third year, four year, fifth year, and then we every year we do. We will learn about it, and then how we improve it. And and we never know. You know, if something like pandemic, like COVID. Maybe we stop for a while and then we continue again. So it's about, for me, it's about belief, it's about hope, and it's about dream. And we put these together, three together, I believe nothing can stop us. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much, Mr. Dari, for your insight over uh, the tourism spot uh, in Simri province. So uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here with us from uh, the beginning until the end.